Soup is a liquid flavor dish which is considered as a dinner item as well as snack or appetizer. This is made by combining ingredients such as meat and vegetables with stock, juice, or water. Classification of soup Clear soup We have bouillon Vegetable soup Consomme Bouillon byproduct of simmering meat or poultry without solid ingredients. Vegetable soup Seasoned with addition of one or more vegetables and meat products. Consomme Rich flavored stock clarified to transparent A perfect starter for elegant dinner. Number 2, Thick Soup. In Thick Soup, we have Cream Soup, Puree, Bisques, Chowders. First is Cream Soup. Thickened with brew, milk, and cream. Second is Puree. Based on starchy ingredient, based on potato, tomato, rice, and others. Nuts smooth and creamy like cream soup. Bisques Thickened soup made from shellfish. Chowders Hearty American soup made from fish, shellfish, or vegetables. Usually contain milk and potatoes. Number 3 Specialty soup In specialty soup, we have Dessert soup, cold soup, and traditional soup. Dessert soup serve warm or cold, usually with milk, coconut milk, cream, beverages, or fruits in season. Best example for dessert soup is saging con yellow, mais con yellow or even halo-halo. Second is cold soup, a particular variation of traditional soups where in temperature is kept at room temperature or below. May be sweet and savory and popular during summer. Traditional soup, soup specialty popularized in each place like bird's net nests in Chinese cuisine, Buya base in Mediterranean cuisine. This is Chef Chino again. Then for today, we're going to have a demonstration of one clear soup that we discussed, which is a vegetable soup. So a vegetable soup is one kind of clear or thick clear soup. So first, um, we need a pan, and our ingredients are butter, onion, um, carrots, celery, jicama or singkamas, tomatoes, and our stock. For our vegetable soup, we need um, a stock, so we can use chicken or vegetable stock. So, let's start. So first, we're going to heat up our pan. So after around a minute, may init na yung pan natin. So we'll just wait. Okay, our pan is already hot. We can first put the butter. So after putting the butter, we can add our onion, white onion. So konti lang kasi yung recipe natin na nakasulat sa module nyo, it will be um, divided into four. So one-fourth lang ang portion nitong gagawin natin or for one serving. 
So we're, we're just going to sweat the onion for about 30 seconds. Then we're going to add the carrots, our celery, and our jikama or singkamas. So we're going to sweat it for another 30 seconds. So after 30 seconds, we can add our stock. So we're going to use chicken stock for this. So let's just simmer this for about 5 minutes. Okay, so after five minutes, um, all the vegetables are already soft. We can season it with a little bit of salt. And um, ground white pepper, or we can use a black pepper. Then afterwards, we're just going to taste this. And now it's done, we can transfer this in a plate, on a soup plate. It's done. So we have our first soup, which is a clear soup, vegetable soup. Okay guys, so this is uh, our second soup. Um, this is a kind of thick soup, so it is called a puree. So, for now, we're going to make uh, squash puree. So, paano siya ginagawa? Okay, sa ating module, ang nakasulat dun sa squash puree, we need to bake the squash. Alam ko, hindi lahat sa atin merong oven. So, gagawa tayo ng isang way na paano tayo makakapag-puree ng squash or any other vegetables using only using a stove and a pot or a pan. So, sobrang simple lang. Kasi sa module natin nakasulat, ibe-bake natin yung squash around 45 minutes. But this one is very, very much simple than that. So, first we need a stove and a pot or a saucepan. So, first we're going to turn on the heat. Mas simple ito kaysa dun sa bake pa sa oven 45 minutes. Ito, mga around 15-20 minutes lang natin iboboil. Pwede na siya. So, check it out. So, yan. Medyo mainit na yung pan natin. We're just going to add oil. So, we can use uh, olive oil, corn oil, cooking oil, coconut oil. So, kahit anong oil na may available kayo, pwede nyo gamitin. So, let's just put around one tablespoon of oil. Then, we need shallots. So, shallots. Ito yung ano, um, shallots sa atin sa Pilipinas, yun yung sibuyas na Tagalog. So yung pula ng mga maliliit na sibuyas, yun yung shallots. So we're just going to put uh, about a tablespoon of shallots. So either mince or chop pwede yung gawin dahil um, since puree ito, ibe-blender naman natin siya. So we're just going to put a large chunk of, oil, uh, of garlic. So gisa lang natin siya for about 30 seconds to a minute. So, until maging translucent yung shallots natin or yung red onion na maliliit or sibuyas Tagalog. So, eto gagawa tayo ng mga around um, two servings for this soup. So, yan. Uh, once na nag na natin mabuti, uh, pwede na natin lagay yung ating pumpkin or squash or butternut squash. So, Yung mga pamilya na yun, pwede nyo gamitin yun for this recipe. Okay. So, gisa lang natin ng konti. Then, we're going to put vegetable stock. So, we're just going to add ample amount para makover lang yung ating squash or pumpkin. So, it's about mga 700 ml. So, afterwards, Pwede tayong maglagay ng konting seasoning. Lagay, na, lag, lagay tayo ng konting salt. 
Okay, so huwag sobra kasi mamaya pag pinuri natin to using a blender, then itatransfer uli natin sa dito sa pan. Doon natin yung titi mas titimplahan kung ano bang kulang. So, for now, vegetable stock and salt ang muna ilalagay natin dito. So, let's just wait for around uh, 15 to 20 minutes or until our squash or pumpkin is tender. So, okay, so after 15 minutes, let's check our pumpkin. So, it is already tender and soft. So, let's turn off the fire. Then, let's add the pumpkin. Or let's put the pumpkin inside a blender. Okay, so be, be careful. Cover natin. So, dapat lagi natin ko cover pag may blend. Kasi, mainit to baka mag-splash. So, as you can see, hindi ganong gumagalaw yung blender natin. Kasi, uh, medyo madami siyang pumpkin. So, nasa atin yun kung dadagdagan natin ng water. So, yun. Um, let's just mix this muna. Para umilalim yung water para madali siyang i-blend. So, let's blend it again. Yan. Okay. Let's just blend this for about 15 seconds. So, tayo bahala. Pwede natin i-check kung yung consistency ng ating pumpkin is okay na sa atin. Pag hindi, we can still add water. O kaya kung gusto natin medyo malapos, pwede natin bawasan yung water. So, okay na. Okay, let's put this back in our pan. So, babalik natin siya. As you can see, ang ganda ng puree natin na pumpkin. Then, afterwards, iboboil uli natin siya for around uh, 5 minutes. Then, pwede na natin add yung mga flavorings na gusto natin. Like, for example, gusto natin lagyan ng pepper, additional salt. Pwede tayong maglagay ng parsley or bacon bits. Marami tayong pwedeng idagdag dito sa pumpkin puree natin. So, ito lang yung base natin. Then, afterwards, pwede tayong magdagdag ng kung anong gusto natin. Pwede tayong magdagdag ng ground chicken. Um, yung sinabi ko kanina, bacon, ham, or even uh, pork belly, fried pork belly. So, or pwede na na seafood, like shrimps, um, squid. So, very versatile tong base ng sauce natin. So, let's flavor it as simple as possible. So, ngayon, lalagyan lang natin ng a little bit of butter, um, salt and pepper. So, yun lang. Sobrang simple na pwede natin na base. So, okay, let's turn on the fire again. And let it simmer again for around 5 minutes. So, since mainit pa siya, ang bilis niyang uh, mag-simmer. So, siguro bilang tayo ng 1 to 10. Oh, see? Wala pang 1 to 10, nagsisimmer na siya. So, let's lower the heat. Then, let's add 1 tablespoon of butter. So, para magkaroon siya ng linam nam. So, lagyan natin ng konting butter. Then, since kanina, nilagyan na natin ng konting salt. So, I think kulang pa ng konti. So, lagyan natin ng salt. Then, afterwards, let's put white pepper. Okay, so, konti lang. Then, mix lang natin siya until may incorporate lahat. So, ang ganda ng consistency ng ating soup. So, dapat ito puree ito. So, medyo thick dapat siya. So, let's turn off the heat. So, ayan. Yan ang consistency niya. Because this one is puree. So, I'm happy with this consistency. It can coat the back of the spoon na medyo makapal kasi this is a thick soup. Hindi siya katulad ng sauce na dapat manipis na manipis. And most especially puree siya. So, kailangan medyo malapot talaga. So, let's just taste this one to check if the taste is already balanced. Okay, so the taste is already balanced. We're going to transfer this in a soup plate. Yes, a puree, a pumpkin or squash puree. So, here it is. Okay guys, this is our third soup. And 
our second thick soup which is bisque. We're going to cook shrimp bisque for today. So what is a bisque? Bisque is a cream soup um, and it has um, shellfish or, and, or crustacean. So we're going to use shrimp for this kind of soup. So usually bisque contains um, shellfish or crustaceans like shrimps, lobsters, um, fish stock or yung iba ginagamit is chicken stock, then cream and also they put tomato. Um, either tomato puree, tomato paste, or fresh tomatoes in this dish. So first, we're going to heat our pan. So after 30 seconds, we're going to put our oil. Again, we can use our oil of choice like coconut oil, palm oil, vegetable oil, or even olive oil. So. If we're going to use olive oil, don't use extra virgin olive oil when sauteing or cooking. We, only, we can only use um, pure olive oil or pomace olive oil because the extra virgin olive oil has a low uh, smoking point. So, kailangan hindi natin gagamitin ng extra virgin. Ang extra virgin olive oil, usually ginagamit siya for salad and dressing. So, uh, mainit na yung oil natin, we're going to add our onion. So let's just wait for about mga 15 seconds or until yung onion natin maging translucent. So we can use whisk or uh, kitchen spoon. So so yeah. So I think medyo okay ni onion natin. We're going to add our carrots. So Sote lang din natin siya ng ma maigi. Siguro mga around uh, bilang tayo ng 1 to 15. Then next, we're going to add our parsley stem, bay leaf, and thyme. So yan. Yeah. Add lang natin siya. Then afterwards, we can add our tomato paste. So we can also use um, tomato puree, diced tomatoes, or fresh tomatoes. Then we're going to add our medium-sized shrimp. So, so it is filled with tail on and devein. So devein din is nasa. We're going to study how to devein a shrimp when we got in our lesson about fish and shellfish. So, igisa lang natin ng konti. Then, we're going to add our flour. So, dapat yung flour natin medyo mag-incorporate siya. So, this, our flour will serve as the thickening agent for our soup. So, yan. Okay na. Then, we're going to add our fish stock. So, we'll add around mga Ano, mga 400 ml of fish stock. So, let's just put this one into boil. Then afterwards, we're going to add our cream. And always remember, pag maglalagay tayo ng cream, especially sa soups, kailangan simmering temperature ang ating soup. Kasi pag nagbo-boil, maghihiwala yung milk solids dun sa cream. So, dapat mahina yung apoy para hindi mag-curdle o maghiwalay yung milk and milk solids. Okay, after simmering for 3 minutes, we can season it first with a little bit of salt and pepper. So, mamaya pwede pa naman tayo magdagdag pag nakulangan tayo after nating lagay yung cream. So, meron ng pepper ng, and let's put additional salt pa. Then we're going to mix this first. Then afterwards, we're going to add the cream. Oh. 
Okay, let's just taste our soup. Okay, let's add another. teaspoon of half a teaspoon of salt then afterwards we can add butter for uh, up the flavor para mas madagdagan sa naninam na so about a teaspoon of butter a tablespoon of butter so let's just simmer it again for about 30 seconds okay guys after simmering we're going to, to turn off the heat then, make sure, aalisin natin muna sa soup natin yung nilagay nating bay leaf kasi hindi siya appetizing pag nakita natin na nasa plate or sa bowl natin yung uh, bay leaf. Then, make sure alisin din natin yung parsley stem before we plate. O kaya, for example, hindi natin naalis lahat. Pag na-transfer na natin to sa plate, alisin natin, make sure na aalisin pa rin natin siya. So, yan so we can use um, ladle when transferring this in a soup plate or soup bowl. So we can adjust our recipe, the thickness of our recipe or the consistency. Kung sobrang labnaw, lagyan natin ng roux or ng um, whitewash or slurry. Lagyan natin ng konti. Pag, pag kulang naman yung, uh, pag sumobra naman na thick, pwede tayo mag-add ng konting cream or konting stock doon sa soup natin. So, there is no perfect recipe when doing the soup. So, nasa atin yun kung paano natin i-adjust yung consistency and the taste and also the appearance of the soup. So, pwede natin i-garnish yung mga soup natin with um, parsley or croutons or any other greens. Pwede rin yung um, cappuccino or yung tinatawag na emulsified na milk yung bulanon pwede natin siyang pang garnish so we're down for our last two soups okay so check it out bye